Hey everyone, my name is Coach Marty from Career Therapy, and today I want to talk to you about getting an advanced degree and whether or not that's going to help your job search. Today I got an email from a client, and they said that they had a question about getting an additional degree. In their email, they said, I wanted to ask for your input on something. It was suggested that I might try taking college classes in artificial intelligence or even get another master's degree since those skills are heavily in demand right now. And I'm not sure if I want to do this as it's expensive and may make me seem overqualified to employers. What do you think? My response was to be careful of the productive procrastination trap. You see, if you get a degree, you want to make sure that it's essential to your career development and not a distraction. See, most degrees, certifications, boot camps, or additional education and learning doesn't really look as good to an outside viewer as it does to the person who spent the time getting that degree. So unless a certification or a degree is required to land a job, such as in a legal, medical, or other type of profession, it's quite likely that this isn't as necessary or as beneficial as we think it's going to be in the job search. I've actually seen conversations between people where someone is saying, well, I got a degree in X, and the other person is saying, so what? And the person who got the degree is getting really upset that no one cares they spent all of this time, energy, and money getting that degree. But unfortunately, they got a degree that was non-essential to the role that they're applying to. And sure, it's nice to have it, but companies don't care about your education. They care about the results you can provide them. So if you think about it, it's not necessarily the credential that gets you the job. It's your ability to communicate why that credential can solve someone's problem, why that credential should be important to the employer. The employer is not responsible for understanding why that degree is helpful. You are responsible for convincing them that the degree is going to help. And this can be a bit troublesome because, you know, we were sold on this degree, you know, get this master's in X, Y, or Z, and you'll be able to make X amount of money. But these schools and these universities are making claims that are honestly a bit outrageous sometimes. And those degrees do not always translate into financial success. We still have to sell the value of our degree the same way the company sold the value to us. We need to sell it to the company because it's not always a no-brainer. A lot of times these extra certifications and these extra degrees they're just extra. They're nice to have. They're non-essential, but sure, it's cool that you have it. You still need to convince me you can get the outcome that this role needs. And that really kind of goes to a deeper level of the job search, which is the fact that a lot of times we want our experience to speak for itself. I did all this stuff. Give me a job. Companies don't care about your past. They only care about your past in so much as it validates your ability to achieve things in the future. Just because you've done something doesn't mean you can achieve this next result, right? So you have to explain to them why what you've done in the past has prepared you to achieve this result. Companies have problems and they're looking for you to solve those problems. You have skills, but they don't care about the skills. They only care about how those skills solve those problems. So you have to connect the dots for them in order for it to really stick. Sure, you might get a great recruiter or a great person who connects all the dots themselves, but this is a sales game at the end of the day when it comes to interviews and the job search, and we need to spell it out for people so that they remember it and want to hire us. Now, how do you know if this degree or certification is necessary for you to move up in your career? Well, the way that we figure that out is we go look at LinkedIn profiles of people who are doing the job that we wish we had. If you look at five or six different profiles and they all have the same degree, then it might be a degree worth getting. But that's not the only thing we should do. We should also reach out to some of these people and ask, is this degree essential or is this degree a nice to have? Confirm that it's required before you decide to shell out the money. We see this all the time with MBAs where 
sometimes an MBA is necessary in order to move to that next level within a company. In order to get promoted, you need to get an MBA. And a lot of times companies will pay for your MBA if you've been working at that company in order to help you move to that next level. But they'll also have a caveat that you have to work there a certain number of years in order to have them pay for the MBA. So it can be a bit of a golden handcuff. But these are the things that we want to know before we make the jump. We don't want to spend the money first and then ask questions later. We want to ask questions first and then decide if the money's worth spending. To sum this all up, I see a lot of people spending a lot of money on certifications and degrees that don't have good ROI, that don't have a good return on investment. And really, even if you do go get a master's degree or some sort of MBA or something along those lines or a certificate or a boot camp, the real value of that degree is going to be the network that comes with the organization that you get it from. So if you get an MBA, you can lean into the alumni network of the place you got the MBA. If you go to a boot camp, you can lean into the alumni network of the boot camp. That's the real value. And at the end of whatever degree you get, you're still going to have to be able to sell that degree in order to get a job. So the degree may help, but the network is the real power. And you can build that network even without a degree. So just know, if you're getting a degree to avoid the job search process, it's not going to work. You're still going to have to network. You're still going to have to update your job search materials. You're still going to have to interview well. And if you need help with any of those things, head over to careertherapy.com and let's chat. Because I want to make sure that you are as confident as possible, no matter what direction you go, whether you get a degree, whether you go straight into the job, or whether you do something else. Good luck in your search. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.